Hi beautiful, how are you doing? The kids have gone to school this morning and it's really sweet. Um, I love like getting them ready and doing their hair and having them all creamed up and <laughs> moisturized and send them off to school for the new year. I always put their name tags in their like outfits and stuff like that. I found those um, name tags that, that do not cost anything. I think they're about $3.99 if you're in the UK. Um, and actually, they're, they're on eBay anyway. I'll link it in my, in my description, but I basically like cut the name tag out and you can personalize the name tags to however you want. You like to choose a little emoji icon or something. And you get them, you cut them, and you're able to iron it onto your kid's uniform, which is really, really convenient. And it doesn't come off in the wash or anything like that. In my other vlog, I, I mentioned the books that I was reading. And I started reading um, When Breath Becomes Air, which is such a good book so far. And I just sat in one day and tried to finish it. But you know how it is, mum life, home life. I didn't manage to do it, but, and I have this much left so good it's one of those books that's like a full circle type book because he does die um and he wrote this before he died and when you're reading him talk about like how his life had gone you kind of get how the death how there's the death if you know what i mean it's just like a, one of those um books that I probably by the end i'm going to be like aha it's one of the uh, books as well that also makes you think about life and time which i said it, i did kind of find this book when i was sort of doing like my habits and redoing my habits and thinking about time and management and stuff like that and yeah it, it does make you think about life it does make you think and pause for a second and just appreciate like where you're at and also the procrastination if any of us are experiencing that this book kind of gives you a little boost in the bum and tells you like you know time is not ours but there's a time and a place for everything and sometimes we for me i know personally like i've wasted time in previous years i'm not in that position now but the book does alert that and and like it just makes you appreciate the small things makes you want to like be more productive and be more mindful of the things that you say the choices that you make because you know for him unfortunately he died and when you read it it's so it's like because he became a neurosurgeon and you know he had a full life and all these other things that just make you think like oh no like and he had a wife and it was just like ah but anyway i'm gonna try and finish reading this book today and I'll tell you guys how the end is. Or not how the end is, but how I've taken the book. But I think it's one of those books is like a full circle. It does feel like that so far. It's so funny because um, my goal for the end of the year was 24 books. And in my last book, I said I wasn't, I was gonna loosen the reins of myself. And then now I'm reading again in this month, I'm sort of like blowing through the books, or at least I'm, I'm halfway through this one, I'm gonna finish it. And so I'm gonna pick up another one straight away. And then hopefully by the end of September, I would have read three books, which is great because then if I continue like that, I would get through the chunk of books that I did actually buy this year <laughs> before I start buying more books because I'm not gonna stop buying books. Like I really just wanna build up my library. I wanna read more. I want to grow uh, and, and just like that personal development still do so well because you learn so much and i read or well, i heard someone i think it was either dan co he said that there's no point of reading a book and just taking nothing from it just reading it for reading's sake like every book that you read you should grab something from it and be able to like progress your life or progress your mindset and it's so true everything i read uh, whether it's online or it's through a book i definitely write what I've taken from the book, what I've learned, my perspective and how I can move forward with what I've learned. You ready to go? Yeah! Yeah! I was reading the book of Job today and after all that happened to Job, he didn't blame God, he fell on his knees and he worshipped his name. And also what I took from it this morning is that even though we go through so much adversity, some issues, problems, some bigger than others, it's so important to have our eyes on God. It just reminds us that God can't give us anything that we can't handle. You know, Job was pushed physically to the limit and so it just teaches me to realize that like, in times where I'm feeling tough in times where I'm feeling troubled or I'm experiencing some things I have to have my eyes on God and know that I can handle it sometimes it's mind over matter God's going to see me through the test is for me to honor him and to focus on him and rely on him for his help not to do it on my own or be in my feelings or think about it over and over because those things are what the enemy wants your distraction away from God 
And one thing I wanted to do and start doing is making sure that I cook a little bit earlier because I am starting to cook some new recipes. So I did my grocery shopping a few days ago and I'm choosing to go more of the vegan route or at least less meat route just because I want us to be a little bit more healthier than we have been eating the last few months and so I picked a lot of vegetarian a lot of vegan options I've tried to, the vegan thing before not because I want to be vegan but I've just tried some vegan meals before but going forward I'll probably just do half and half like we're mainly vegan and then pescatarian and some days we eat meat I don't really mind I'm not a strict like whatever I'm just trying to follow a more healthy option and just add a lot more veggies and fruits into the diet we do eat a lot of veggies and fruits but i just want to go a little bit more and also cook a bit more since having the twins um i was a bit off the kitchen i don't know just something about the pregnancy i just was like i don't like being in the kitchen and after it took a while to get back in obviously i have been cooking but not as much as i have used to cook and not as much as i want to cook so now with prayer and intention i am making more of an effort to cook so the shop was very intentional like i sat for a few hours doing my shopping researching and i was discovering some caribbean african vegan options and i came across rg vegan who is on instagram and I bought his book as well. And then um, I came across Rachel Amar on YouTube and Andrew Bernard so far. And then I did find a few recipes on Pinterest as well. But I have was enjoying, like, because some of the recipes are on YouTube where they're, like, cooking and stuff. And so I've been enjoying watching it. And uh, the ones that I really liked and I felt like it was kind of easy to do for a starter pack <laughs> is the ones that I picked to do shopping for. So that's what I'm doing today. I'm making curry no-go, which is from Rachel Amar. So I'm going to follow her recipe on YouTube and then try and cook it as well. So I've laid out all my ingredients and I'm ready to go. I'm going to start cooking, take you along with me making these the first time I'm making this. And yeah, should be good. It better be good. It's going to be good. Before I get started, I'm going to take my Floridex, as I've mentioned in another vlog, it's just to boost my iron levels and it's take, you meant to take it 30 minutes before the cooking. So I'm going to take it, then cook, then enjoy my milk. So 10 mil. All right, so I've got my laptop. I'm watching the recipe. I've got my food. I don't have a pot. She's making the green seasoning first, so I'm going to make that now. I've already chopped up my sweet potato, my potatoes and my carrots as well. I just realised, I think I was meant to blend this in with the green seasoning, but I'll use my mincer when it's time to add that in. I also bought some rotis from Tesco. I hope it's actually really good. When I was pregnant with Ava, I managed to make curry. <laughs> I was making roti. I was making like loads of food when I was pregnant with Ava, as in, I don't know how I stood there and made roti by hand and loads of it as well. And I remember it was funny because when Ashley got back from work, he was just like, because <laughs> that's the first time I made it and it was really good. So this time around, I, I bought some. However, I'm going to try and make some the next time. I just I felt like I didn't, as I'm weaning back into cooking, let me just take it easy. Okay. <laughs> so I'm going to start making the main part of the meal now. Also, the recipe called for jackfruit, and I couldn't get any, um, but I thought maybe if I used the oyster mushroom as a little alternative, it might work. Let's see how I go.
So Rachel Emma mentioned that this was optional, the miso sauce, uh, the miso paste. And so I thought, let me just try it and see how I like it. I've never tried it before. It is um, suitable, it says suitable for vegans. So this is the brand that I got and I'll just see how that goes as I'm cooking. the girls have started school I wanted to make sure that they were focused on schoolwork. I bought them some desks from Ikea and some swivel chairs and I'm trying to set that up now. Ashley already set up the chairs before we went to work and also we bought tables for the twins as well. So I'm going to set that up right now and get the girls to get do their work and test it out and yeah. Everywhere. Look everywhere. You have the big one. I have to Hi. Well, you know. You're doing your drawing. Yeah. Ready? You got it? Mm -hmm. Do it with these little things. Yes. And yeah. then... doing this so I built the table I'm building the easel now and then after that I would build the other table and then I'm done I'm sweating I'm tired this is super hard I thought it was gonna be easy it's straightforward but it's like and then my drills running out I need to charge my drill so I got I got this little mini drill so yeah just gonna finish up now and I'll show you the end result So I got them some lamps as well. This table actually mimics the same table in the living room. So we have the black one in the living room. And this also, we have the black one this in the living room. So I got the white one for Anaya. And then I got this version for Ava. I'm going to put it on her side as well. <laughs> cool. I bought an, a table protector here. For both of the girls as well and Ava chose her lamp and her cushion to make it personalized 
and over here and Naya chose her lamp and her cushion so this is how it turned out and I'm pretty happy with everything it looks so cute so cute so they can get their work done every evening now in style and in peace It's been an eventful morning, but I've had a good morning today anyway. So the book that I was reading, I finished it. I finished it that evening when Breath Becomes Air and I actually cried. Like, you know the cry that my chest was like, ooh, ooh, ooh. I was seriously crying. It was so sad at the end because she, was, the wife took over the story and her, like when she was talking, I just felt it. And it was kind of like that movie from scratch on Netflix. What well, movie, you know, the series with Zoe Zeldana um, it's kind of like that. It's basically like the same thing, just just as potent in the heart, you know, and it really makes you like shift your mindset. And that's the reason why I read the reviews. And I was saying to my husband, I was saying to Ashley, like, if you read that book, watched from scratch, read the book of Jonah, read the book of Job, <laughs> there's no way you're going to sit different. And also watched um, Serena, v Serena and Venus Williams um, story as well. You're going to be so motivated, so pushed and like, yeah, it just basically one of those kind of things. So the book was really, really good. I really recommend that book. And then the next day, I didn't vlog, but I read The Vision one. This book was another good book. I really enjoyed it. It was, there's some work in there. So like you have to like look at scriptures and read it and kind of like meditate on the word. It was kind of a book that just snatches you up because it prompts a th thought process in you for you to like, understand your purpose and to go after your purpose and not look at anything else like comparison and things like that just straightforward do what you need to do god said this and this is this and and literally using his word like she really referenced psalm 139 so it's really good but i really enjoyed that one too and then i started reading this book which is the captivating girl book i thought it was more of a novel but it's actually sort of a um it's more of like the authors talking about their experience so far i'm reading from stacy's point of view of like how a woman wants to feel your femininity what god expects from you how life has been i'm only on like page 16. it's really interesting to read this book because one of the things i want to do is build on my 
godly womanness and femininity and i think this book will kind of answer a few questions for me so yeah that's where i'm at are you finished your lunch yeah mm -hmm. good mm -hmm. good girl so that's where I'm at with my book reading and I'm really really doing well I've that's my third book now in the whole week of this vlog <laughs> but um yeah so remember yesterday we were doing the room and not doing the room but like putting up the tables for the girls so Anaya wants it changed around because she feels like she doesn't have enough light on her side of the table so that's what Ashley's gonna do today we're going to rearrange the room which this is how I originally wanted the room with the bunk bed but we're gonna do that now. moving everything so it's practically done now we're just fixing the lights that go all the way around the room and then just tidy up like the chest of drawers here because that needs moving and switching and that's it the girls room is done but obviously with the twins yeah so once you finish the room i'll show you what everything looks like 